the Cardano ecosystem continues to arrive at new heights, and ADA investors getting wealthier and wealthier. While the end is far from in sight, Cardano's founder Charles Hoskinson made an important warning for all ADA holders. In this video, we will find out what this means for you. Hello guys and welcome back to Richly. Before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to our channel. Charles Hoskinson, a vital individual in crypto, is the joint inventor of the Ethereum blockchain and of the Cardano blockchain platform and Chief Executive of Blockchain Research Association IOHK. He is working all day in the crypto space, as he said, I don't actually get weekends. I am always on a project, said Hoskinson, who studied analytic number theory at university. At the point when he does have some available energy, he hunts with eagles in Mongolia, goes on extended fast, and says he is a sharp user of cryogenic chambers. He has played football with an elephant. Hoskinson spoke last year at the World Economic Forum in Davos. He spoke there about blockchain's capability to power social change likens Bitcoin to an early steam engine, something that proved massively significant. Yet, just as a starting point, there are about six third-generation cryptocurrencies that do what Bitcoin does, and significantly more, however, don't consume the same sum of power. He says this progress will permit blockchain to spread past finance and make genuine social change. Blockchain innovation is seeping into areas past finance, including new applications in art, property, and collectibles in the form of NFTs. Stablecoins, special digital assets that link cryptocurrencies with central bank-sponsored money, have a market capitalization of almost $115 billion, according to cryptocurrency information website CoinMarketCap. Indeed, even football fans buying tickets to the recent Euro 2020 tournament were using a system that relies on distributed ledger innovation. However, hurdles remain. Crypto's quick development has gotten the eyes of regulators, including those in China and the US, who are concerned about the measure of money that has flown into the volatile market. This has cooled the crypto trading fire that grasped investors in the early months of the COVID-19 pandemic. Cardano founder and IOHK CEO Charles Hoskinson recently spoke on the difficulty of utilizing blockchain innovation in the developing world. In a recent interview with Bloomberg highlighting Cardano's work in Ethiopia, Hoskinson emphasized his company's commitment to human rights. We are a major devotee to quality human rights, he said. For this reason, he says it wouldn't bode well to construct character solutions in countries that have a wondrous record of exceptionally significant institutional violations. In these instances, he believes the solutions could be abused by the state against the population. Nonetheless, Hoskinson conceded that to work the company must be realistic in its approach. You need to adjust each agreement you take a gander at, first the country level and then at the point you work your direction to the facts and circumstances, he said. Things change and in some cases you need to leave, even after you've spent years working in a country. Looking at the specific message Vore Cardano holders, CEO Charles Hoskinson has recorded another video in which he warns the holders of Cardano ADA. This video is about the proliferation of scams and misinformation in the cryptocurrency space. Hoskinson claims that there are about 10 times as many giveaway scams compared to just a month prior. This is all because of ADA's massive rally. He is adding that there are several phony applications on the Google Play App Store and that he expects them to continue growing for the foreseeable little while. Hence, the cryptocurrency business visionary urges his followers to exercise caution and slow things down. If someone is claiming you're going to get incredible returns, in case someone is claiming you're going to give them your private keys or send them ADA for reasons unknown, they are probably a scam. If you don't have the foggiest idea what to do, go ahead and ask a question. Hoskinson has stressed that he has never made a single price expectation in his whole life. Recently, Hoskinson also spoke out about the adoption of Bitcoin in El Salvador. We as the industry won. Now we are just sorting out the details of what it means, said IOG Chief Executive Charles Hoskinson. He discussed El Salvador's adoption of Bitcoin as legal tender in a recent video titled Congratulations Bitcoin. Hoskinson opined that crypto tokens like Bitcoin stand for the future of money. Now, the majority of people under the age of 25 have a positive view on cryptocurrencies, and a lot of them own them. That's the future. Their children will grow up with those values and those beliefs about the nature of money, he said. The crypto industry certainly saw some major changes, and according to Hoskinson, this was a sheer moment for our entire industry, regardless of whether you live in or outside the BTC sphere. Moreover, Hoskinson predicted that other nations could 
follow El Salvador's footsteps in the future. He stated, in the coming years, many more nation states will use crypto as part of their monetary policy, either as reserves in their central banks or using cryptocurrency rails for central bank settlements, or potentially just simply taking a cryptocurrency as El Salvador has done and make it the national currency. Additionally, he stressed upon the significance of this development. He said that it legitimizes the belief that we should be in control of the money in our pockets and we should ultimately be in control of how that money moves and who receives it. He concluded by saying that cryptocurrency is here to stay. Crypto is definitely not only here to stay. It's very clear that crypto is going to change the world and already has in many ways. A recent stat showed that the transfer volume of Cardano NFTs is already catching up with the Ethereum NFTs. While Ethereum remains the top blockchain choice for many NFT projects, but the scalability issue and high gas fee have opened the opportunity for many other Ethereum killers like Solana, whose NFT marketplace is making headlines with multi-million NFT sales. Cardano would also like to take a chunk of the market share since the smart contract is integrated since the 12th of September. Prior, Poly Network as well as Polygon founder had bet against the smart contract integration, which they lost with the Alonzo Purple Testnet dispatch. Afterward, Poly Network also bet against the price discovery claiming ADA will not reach $3 in 2021. Presently that the altcoin has surpassed that said sum, Hoskinson was speedy to attack the critics. Hoskinson is known for not shying away from criticism, and the recent slew of developments on the platform has just made him more confident about the platform. Cardano can very soon touch $10 from here once it gets into the price discovery mode and having almost significantly increased its price last month. However, skeptics continue to bet against the network and founder Charles Hoskinson has a name for the syndrome called Cardano Derangement Syndrome. Hoskinson called out a Coindesk reporter who claimed minting NFTs on Cardano would be impossible. Another user minted an NFT on Cardano for the tweet that claimed it's impossible to mint NFTs. Hoskinson has not held back when it comes to responding to trolling disguised as criticism and has even warned about an incoming FUD storm. ADA price, on the other hand, has surged two and a half times over since August in the run-up to the key upgrade and even claimed to the third spot. The altcoin touched a new all-time high of $3.10 and was looking set to enter price discovery mode like Solana before the market crash happened. Cardano price is currently in recovery phase but is hovering around a key barrier. A decisive close above this level could trigger an upswing, but a failure to do so might kickstart a downtrend. Cardano price rose 15% from the September 8th swing low to where it is currently trading, $2.55. However, the resistance barrier at $2.55 is crucial and will help ADA decide directional bias. A decisive 4-hour candlestick close above it likely to trigger an upswing. Assuming the bulls manage to close above $2.55, investors can expect Cardano price has a resistance-free path up to $2.74. However, overcoming this barrier and retesting the $2.82 ceiling will complete the 10% uptrend. A resurgence of bullish momentum here could extend the ascent, but market participants can expect a minor retracement before going on another impulsive run. Regardless of the optimism, Cardano price needs to overcome the $2.55 resistance barrier barrier and flip it into a support level to have any chance of it surging higher. Failing to do this could result in a retracement to the immediate support level at $2.40. But guys, remember that this is on the short term. On the long term, it's not unlikely for Cardano to reach $10. What price will Cardano reach this year? Subscribe to Richly and like this video.